So, so far, our FMUs uh, are reactive. So they react to some events, but they do not do, not do anything. So the idea in this example is to see how we can specify some basic uh, computation inside of our FMU. So we reuse example three as a kind of template, and we will add a um, couple of information inside the model. So let's go to the class diagram, and let's define an operation on it. So we will call it test, and we will add a couple of parameters on it. So let's say that we have a parameter which represents a threshold. And the idea of this operation is to compare the value of this threshold to the value of, um, uh, of the with the current value of input uh, x. And of course, we will provide a result. So we need an output parameter. And in this case, it will be a Boolean. So we uh, provide the result of the test uh, evaluation. So the operation is defined, but we do not have yet any uh, implementation uh, for it. So this is just the signature. But we can use um, Mocha utilities to generate the skeleton of the implementation. So in this case, it will be an activity. So the activity is created, but we don't have the diagram yet. So let's create the diagram for this activity. And let's add the required node uh, inside it. So first thing to do is to represent the parameters of the activity. So this can be done uh, using drag and drop. So we have the threshold on the left and the result on the right. We will need to refer to some uh, information of the context, context object. So we. This is why we create a read self action. So this is a reference to the context object. So we know that we need to access to the value of port X. Uh, so we need a particular action for it. So this is a read structural feature action. But you just have to drag and drop the property that you want to read in the diagram. And the action will be created automatically for you. So we want to perform some comparisons. So the foundational model library provides some predefined behavior. So in the integer functions, there is a greater than operators. So this is the same principle. You can drop it, and you will have the action automatically created with appropriate input and output pins. So we can put now the object flows uh, to deal with uh, propagation of data between these various uh, actions. So we basically connect uh, outputs to inputs and uh, to parameters of the activity. So there are a couple of labels which are not really useful in this uh, model example, so we can remove it. And our implementation is now specified. So now let's adapt our classifier behavior to actually use uh, the operation that we have defined. Just performing a bit of layout to have enough space in the diagram. So again, we want to call an operation of the context object, so we need uh, to have the read self action. And uh, to call uh, the test operation, we just have to drag it, drag and drop it as a call operation action. And uh, the, the action is automatically created with appropriate input and output pins.
So uh, we want to compare the value of uh, x with something. So let's use a constant. To do so, you just create a value specification action. And in the pop-up uh, editor, you just put the values that you want. So in this case, let's use 2. And the idea here is to assign the result of the comparison to the output y of our FMU. So here we can see that we need a reference to the context object, so the result of the read self action in two places. So to access the y property with this set y action and also for calling the operation. So we use a fork node to do so, so that we will fork the reference to the context object and we use it in the two places. And now let's connect everything. So constant 2 is used as an argument for the threshold parameter. The reference to the context object goes to the fork node and the fork node uh, propagates uh, to the call test and set y actions. The result of the test is given as a new value for the y uh, output. And then we will just adjust a bit uh, the control logic to have our operation properly called. So after a bit of layout, we get this classifier uh, behavior diagram. So let's perform a simulation experiment. We just arrange a bit the diagram so we can have um, the two diagrams next to each other and observe what happens during the execution. The execution is started. We see that the system blocks at two, uh, until 2.0, so we can perform a couple of steps. And we go forward with the execution. So the test is down, and in this case, uh, 0 is lower than 2. This is the specification in our example, so that the value y is not updated. So let's perform a new experiment, but this time we'll try to put a greater value on x. So x is updated, with value 4 in this case. So we should see that the output y is updated after the test. So we are done.